just introduce yourself what, what's happening in Birmingham today. All right, so yeah, so yeah my name's uh, Dom Whiting and today we are in Birmingham for Drum Base on the Bike, Birmingham Part 2. So you've been doing these rides over the UK. What what made you made you start, and why do you think they're so popular? So yeah, I started uh, doing the rides during lockdown, and um, yeah, I was actually doing it whilst I was running my own car repairs business. Um, and yeah, obviously I did the first couple on my own, and then on the third ride we had people attending. And uh, yeah, I think the, the main reason why I'm still carrying on, obviously, if I was just doing it on my own, maybe it's not as much of a buzz, but. Now I'm still going, obviously there's more people here and um, that's just like a motivation in itself to, uh, to just turn up and you know, unite everyone. So uh, I think the main reason I'm still doing it is, it's just the joy of doing it and uh, it brings people together. So. And um, you've recently done it in Europe. Uh, How do you find it compared to the UK? So yeah, I recently did a ride in Belgium. Um, it was actually really good, apart from the weather. We had some of the worst weather I've experienced, but um, we still had a couple of hundred people there. And, and it's quite a buzz to go so far away from home and uh, still have that response with that weather. Um, if the weather was better, we would have, we probably would have hit like record numbers, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and I can't wait to do more Europe trips this year. And why drum and bass? That's a good question because I do like house and techno. Um, I think it's, uh, I think it's just the whole thing of like being on the move and like being on the bikes. It's quite fast. You know, it's not fast paced. We're not going that quick, but I think it just gets people up, and it's energetic music for for the bike ride. So it suits it quite well. We live in a pretty divided world. Um, these events bring all kinds of people together. Is that important? To you? Yeah, hundred percent. Like we've got all all ages here, all backgrounds, all walks of life, um, and just touching on why I still do it. That, that's probably one of the main reasons why um, you know why it's probably still relevant and hopefully always stays relevant. I think uniting people from all walks of life is probably a very key part of uh, of these bike rides. It's not, you know, for you, music is important, clearly, yeah, yeah? yeah and yeah. I love it, it brings people together, but also, there's a seriously, you're, you're raising issues around homelessness, yeah, you're yeah. using this platform to, to, you know, push refugee rights, this kind of stuff, fighting poverty, because obviously homelessness is an issue. Yeah. What, 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 mate, what's that? What's that? Yeah, so, um, across the Christmas period, I did a charity ride for um, uh, Wickham Homeless Connection and uh, Wickham RFG. Um, yeah, I mean, charity is a hard one, because... You don't want to do, for me personally, like it's very important to do charities, but it's about doing them for the right charities, you know what I mean? And I think right now, homelessness is probably at a, a peak. Am I right? Is it, is it at a peak? It's at a peak. And obviously this whole situation with all these refugees, Ukraine, you know, there was a previous situation before that where at the time of, of me doing the, life, uh, the charity ride, refugees were at the peak of, uh, on the news front. So um, I just think these issues, Whilst I don't have uh, a big voice in the world, I think uh, just the small voices can make a difference to the situations in terms of homelessness and uh, the refugee community. Well, right, I'm going to ask you this, right? Mic drop, yeah? Mic drop. DJing's all about the mic drop. You know, what's the mic drop statement? Give us a mic drop statement. Oh, couldn't really tell you, mate. Just unity wins. That's it. Great. That's it. One. Yeah. Unity yeah. wins. Oh, that is it. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, music and bikes. What could be better than that? So talk us, talk us about this bike. Yeah. This machine. Yeah, yeah. So, as you can see, this is the speaker, um, 1400 watt RCF, uh, which is quite loud. I uh, must admit. Um, here we've got the camera pole, which has been specially made uh, for this, because you probably won't be able to get a pole just like that. We've got a GoPro phone for live streaming we've got a, a sound receiver so we can hook up to other speakers uh, obviously we've got a leisure battery to power the whole thing the only thing that's not powered is the bike <laughs> that's pedal powered um, we've got the decks a mic receiver for me when I'm talking USBs with the tunes headphones hang on this is not an electric bike no no this is not electric <laughs> got some power in those legs. Yeah, they're doing all right, but um, I think I'll probably need a bit of a push today. I'm not going to lie. I always thought this was an electric bike. No, no, it's not, mate. This wow, is uh, that's impressive. There's there's electric there's electric on it, but it's not an electric bike. Wow, wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> I am. See, as a as a fellow cyclist, I'm impressed. Yes. Well. Yeah. Kudos to you. Yes, mate.